This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. In this video, you will learn how to make an origami coffee bean. Read our related blog post at OrigamiSpirit.com. To make this coffee bean, we need a brown piece of paper. It can be brown on both sides. Uh, in this case, I have white. We are going to begin with the white side up. Fold the diagonal, pinch mark the center, bring this corner down to meet the center, pinch mark, bring this uh, edge up to meet that pinch mark, mark again, bring this lower fold to the latest pinch mark and set a full crease. We fold to the back too, along the same line. Now we bring the lower edge to match the previous fold and make another fold. We fold to the back as well. Unfold. We have two long folds on each side of the center. We are going to reinforce the outer one as a valley. Rotate and repeat. Turn the paper over. And on this side, we are going to bring the fold that we just made to touch the center. We have this slit here. Turn over. We bring this point to the center and repeat here. Now we are going to bring this edge beyond the center and matching this fold that we have here. Unfold, turn and repeat. We make a fold along here, connecting these two corners. and we hide this underneath. We make a fold about here, parallel to the edge and going just at the tip of this triangle. We are going to make another fold about here by bringing the right side to the left and we are going to make the corners of this tiny diamond match the edge. We make a mountain fold here We fold this we're going to fold this corner over matching the edge underneath we open make sure that this 
flap is folded. This is a packet. We insert this edge into the packet. Now we're going to round the corners. We're going to make a fold from here. This section will be longer than this, so from here to here. And then we open for a moment and push and reverse it. We repeat on the other three corners. We are going to work on the left side by pushing out the edge of the slit, just from the center up. Rotate and we repeat on this side. We can round these tips just by folding in with the fingernail. On the back we can round a little bit here and here to make it three-dimensional. Subscribe to this channel and receive notifications when new videos are posted.